It is repetition which makes for perfection. Let's do Aquaman diving into the depths of the ocean. I feel like... Um, It's a better a better angle. And um, I don't know how more comfortable this to me. The twitch of my upper lip. Um I guess it's kind of foreshortened. On this one, I kind of jumped around. Can you see what's going on? I haven't drawn in a while. Try not to foreshorten that hand too much. This one um, just looked a little flat, so I pulled it out. Perspective drawing. Not sure if I entirely follow your question, but if you're asking about perspective. I don't know. How do you teach perspective for characters? You have to know sort of the fundamental shapes of all the muscle components, not each muscle, but components. And then you have to be a, 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 just like drawing anything in perspective. It's, I guess there's some tricks to it. Just draw. Yeah, that, that would be the answer. I, I thought about it, but I'm not going there. It's a, it's a new Jim Lee. I like to speak in the third person now. That could just be. Normally I start with the face. I don't know why I started with the shoulder. Isn't it weird? Who decides what we do? Uh oh, I feel a digression coming on. Free will. We make decisions every day. Will I see this movie? Will I not? What am I going to eat for lunch? What am I going to draw? But then there are other things that just sort of magically happen. And I have to wonder, who decided this? Desire to eat, procreate. Uh, defecate. So that part I understand. There's the biological, which we have no control over. Or we have less control over. So by that extension and getting back to art, if you just watch me draw, you should feel either A, inspired to draw, or B, um, <laughs> only A, B is not a good answer. Be good to draw in frame, right? If you notice, I put these knuckles, the shadows of the knuckles. There's really not much of a hand here. 
shadow of one knuckle, two knuckles, three. The fourth is behind that third one. If I were to erase the pencils, you'd be shocked at what's here. Let's draw the other finger here. Knuckle one, two, three, four. Two fingers, last finger. And we're going to erase the pencils on this so you can kind of see. My eyesight's going a little bit. I'm just guessing. I can't really see everything. Meaning it's not super clear at this distance. I would be alarmed, but this happens a lot. belt here. Do that again so you can see it on camera. Kneecap. Calf. You know, when I drew the mouth, I was like, is he holding his breath? I almost had him like going like that, but then I'm realizing that would be stupid. I actually know my con schedule, uh, but I know that conventions like to announce their guests. And there's a cadence for it, I don't know. appearances. Think about it, there's 52 weekends a year. And food there, pretty, pretty damn good, I have to say. I, I actually said San Diego early on. All right, so given that I did 21 appearances, Getting back to the original topic. Five seems like a reasonable number. So for sure I'm doing five, but now I'm thinking maybe I should I should have a goal. This is how I think. Rather than just letting these shows creep up on me, maybe I should uh, say, all right, I'm going to do seven shows or nine shows. If I did 21 appearances in uh, May, so that'd be six. Um.
Oh yeah, TwitchCon is in Europe next year. What city is it in? Berlin. I really enjoy Berlin. So there's no TwitchCon in the US? There won't be another Girl Scout cookie sale. That was just for grins. Don't they say something like it takes 21 days to make something a habit, 10,000 hours to be a master or something? I don't know. When I sit at a table for 10 hours, I'm not drawing for the entire 10 hours, right? I'm probably trolling the internet for at least eight and a half hours and drawing for sure one and a half hours. So let's compromise. Let's say it's about seven hours of drawing a day. Let's say six. Easier to do multiplications in the six table. Six hours of solid drawing. And that looks like a flower. Um, but since my guess is that 10,000 mark is some, I, I hit it earlier in my career, let's say seven days a week, that's 42 hours a, a week, right? Um, let's say I'm working 50 weeks a year. Mm, 42, 50. Zero one up, yeah, 2100 hours. So it would take about five years. I started in 87. So that would be 1992, right around the time I did uh, Image Comics. So what does that mean? I peaked in 92. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know what? I don't feel like there's ever a point where you finish and go like, okay, i got to figure it out. That's dangerous. Still learning. Still, like, I look back on drawings from that era and go like, oh, that doesn't look so great. That could have been improved. I look at drawings I did last week, feel the same way. So I think it's a bit of a myth. I think... Um, the 10,000 hours, yeah, you gain a lot of proficiency. And then part of that proficiency is the ability to almost self-improve, right? Teach yourself. So maybe that first 10,000, you're learning from external sources, whether it's uh, a book or uh, through trial and error. And then at 10,000, you can start teaching what you've learned. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. They should have a, a number of hours where you've peaked and uh, you regress in ability. Is that 10,001? Is that 20,000? Certainly, you could say that exists for athletes, right? Physically, they peak at some point. Cryptic games. You, you, you <laughs> the fact that you didn't doubt that makes you, you know, the fan base. You guys are awesome. Isn't there like a belief um, that our, the human body was really only, we were only meant to live like 35 years? Something like that? Does anyone know? Right, but through the miracle of science and our ability to kind of master our environments, we have. Hey, Jamie, how are you? These streams are so informative. I think about things I never... Well, no, I take that back. I think about this stuff a lot. Michael Stead won... 
Jim, didn't you and Rob draw something for MLB once? No, it was for the NFL. I don't have to draw every single one of them. In fact, it looks better when I don't draw all of them. And even though there is a regularity, a pattern to it, it's much more organic, dude. The best is you can draw dits like that. And if you do it regularly spaced and then draw them underneath it, the mind basically connects it all up. So it looks like you're going from light to dark. It's a wonderful hack, right? So the, the mind is also, we're visually, we're hardwired to, to see patterns and to anticipate the patterns and create shapes with the patterns. We've talked about it before class, right? How the uh, caveman mind is is trained to look at leaves and see the, the tiger in the leaves so we don't get eaten. Right? Just the way creatures are colored or have patterns on them to create camouflage. Our minds are also designed to see past that camouflage. In general, to just do a general light source that's on top of every object and then if you want to do an overriding uh, kind of light source you can do that too Danny California lurking light source at the glutes my light source is definitely glutastic You're welcome. And uh, I, I do want, there's a project I kind of want to do more color work on, and that's what I primarily do uh, use Cintiqs for, but um, I sense possibly streams using that that badass for the creative work, but the, the, the contractual deals, what they get paid, how they get paid. Right? So, I don't know. Who, in your opinion, is the best or your favorite villain, both Marvel and DC? Um... My favorite villain at Marvel has to be Magneto. The costume, the powers, the sense of purpose, the belief that he, what he's doing is ultimately a good thing. Just a great, 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 great villain all around. Very modern, complex. On the DC side... I've come to like the Joker. When I was a kid, I was not a big fan of the Joker, but obviously he's up there. I would say Dark Side, just because he's such a badass. The badass. It's a stern reference. Um, yeah. I was a big fan of The Flash. I loved the rogues gallery he had, Mirror Master. Um, it was one of my favorite
dark side multiplication. Eight hundred and forty people is what I'm drawing today. How good are you drawing left-handed? Uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes here. I think if I had to, I could eventually learn to draw with my left hand. Yeah, wouldn't it be funny if I just like start drawing his face and it just started jacking up the <laughs> entire thing? I'm like, oh crap. How long should it be? I'm thinking I've got another hour left, hour and a half, almost done. I don't know what that means. I don't know. How much time do you have? Okay. If I had to pick a superpower, what would it be? It would be to manipulate time. It's not much of a superpower. So I'm not even sure how you would be able to do that. But yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. I have my thoughts on time in general. We have been preconditioned by, so I'm going to enlarge this hand subtly. Been preconditioned by movies and TV shows to think of time as a stream. Like that yesterday st exists. We just can't tap into it. It's like a, it's like a file that's been written on the time server of time that if we just had the ability we could go backwards and retrieve old data relive it change it but I don't know that's just an intellectual conceit I think existence and reality is just momentary so once something happens that moment is gone forever. Except for our memory of it. So we have an idea of intellectual capacity to understand the past as a chronological event that occurred before. But there's really no way to 
go back. Like, who's saving it? Whose hard drive is it being saved on? I want to darken up this bicep to make it a construction element that is um, almost black. Okay. the murky depths of Atlantis. Looking back at your career, your style has changed many ways. Most notably, body types. Was there a conscious decision and what informed the change? I, mm, I, probably the earlier stuff, people were beefier, if that's what you mean, and they're less beefy now. More naturalistic. Uh, and I think that's just a general kind of more prevalent trend in superhero art. It's more of a less bombastic art and proportions so that's part of it I think oh no I feel like this whiteout's gonna die on me no um, Kirihiko has raided us with a party of 13 Molly Monk has resubbed I think I mentioned that already. Chunk style 3030. Were you out with Ren? Ren Elephant? He was hung over the other day. Uh, new. If you're a new Aquaman, uh, if you're new to Aquaman, I would start uh, with um, New 52 Aquaman. It's pretty good. You'll recognize a lot of elements from that series in the movie when you see the movie. If you see the movie, please see the movie. You will see the movie. Go see Aquaman. Yes. Um... Okay. You must be a subscriber who pay twenty five dollars. Pay Madonna this Biatcha. Ready to f come to the end of anything. <sighs> yeah. Would be kind of fun.
Okay. Gut genug, as they say in uh, die Schweiz. Kind of sad. 2018 is coming to a close. It's been a an eventful year. Thank you guys for all tuning in. Okay. It is repetition which makes for perfection. <laughs>